Two teenagers have now been charged with murder in the drive-by shooting death of a six-year-old girl. Unfortunately, hers is not the only violent death in Chicago this weekend. At least seven people were killed, dozens more wounded by gunfire. ABC 7's Sarah Schulte is here now with that story. Sarah. Karen, Aaliyah Shell was on the front porch of her house with her mother, sister, and a male when police say a pickup truck carrying 18-year-old Juan Barraza and a 16-year-old opened fire. Aaliyah was hit several times. She died a short time later at the hospital. Gun violence injured another child late this afternoon, also on the south side. Detectives crime tape evidence markers, a familiar scene, especially this weekend. Today, police were called to yet another shooting. A 30-year-old mother and her one-year-old child were grazed by bullets in the Chatham neighborhood on the city's south side. This comes just 24 hours after another child, six-year-old Aaliyah Shell, was shot and killed while playing on the front porch of her little village home. We can't not lose another child to gun violence. Unfortunate, if they stay silent, this is going to continue to happen. Community activist Andrew Holmes says residents must speak up and give police information. Holmes often spends his weekends at crime scenes. He attributes much of the violence to gang activity involving retaliation. 18-year-old Juan Barraza and a 16-year-old boy were charged with Aaliyah Shell's murder. Police say both teens are affiliated with gangs. The retaliation needs to be left in the hands of the Chicago Police Department. If they work with the Chicago Police Department and identify the shooters, that's all we need. But not all of this weekend's gun violence was due to gangs. Of the dozens of shootings and seven murders, some were domestic-related, others the motive unknown. Bert Lindsay's family is trying to figure out why the 36-year-old was killed. Police say Lindsay is a victim of a drive-by shooting while he attended a friend's backyard party early this morning. It don't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. I don't, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's, it happens too much. Police say that Bert Lindsay did not have a criminal record. No one has been arrested in his murder. Many attribute the warm weather to the spike in violence. Activist Andrew Holmes doesn't buy it. He says there are too many shootings that occur in the cold in Chicago as well, which certainly police would agree with, but they do say there's always definitely a spike with the warm weather, especially in the summer. Definitely a violent weekend. You bet. All right, Sarah, thank you.